It's been just about two months since South Korea reported its first confirmed case of COVID-19, and much has happened since then. So let me walk you through what's happened in Korea surrounding this pandemic in three minutes. Up until December, we thought it was just another epidemic like SARS in 2003 or MERS in 2015. Then on January 20th, we had our first confirmed case of COVID-19. The Korea Centers for Disease Control and Prevention raised the virus alert level by one notch from blue to yellow and set up a central task force. The KCDC numbered the infected patients in the order they were confirmed and updated the public about all the places they visited through daily briefings and social media posts. They haven't missed a single day of their regular briefings since the outbreak. A photo of Jung Eun Kyung, the director of KCDC, made headlines in Korea as it showed how she didn't even have time to dye her hair. The South Korean government sent three charter planes to Wuhan to bring home Korean citizens, while medical staff across the country did their best in fighting against COVID-19 at the forefront. With band-aids on their foreheads, they treated patients in designated hospitals with negative pressure rooms and tested thousands of people in drive through testing centers. But it wasn't only the government or the medical staff that fought against this virus. The entire nation came together to combat COVID-19. People sent supportive messages to Koreans that came home from Wuhan and donated money or masks for those in need and for relief efforts in Daegu, the special care zone. A college student developed a coronavirus map showing latest updates and movements of affected people, while volunteers flocked in to help package masks. Landlords also froze or cut down on monthly rents to ease the financial burden. So we definitely saw acts of kindness coming from all parts of the country. In Korea, there were a number of cluster outbreaks in crowded areas such as religious gatherings or call centers. So in efforts to prevent the virus from spreading even further, a voluntary social distancing campaign started to take place. People avoided mass gatherings, streets were empty, and companies allowed their employees to work from home. We witnessed a lot of interesting scenes as well. Events that involved large crowds like concerts or sports tournaments were held without an audience, and high schools held their graduation ceremonies via YouTube Live. The coronavirus in China, which was the epicenter of this outbreak, is gradually being relaxed, and compared to Korea's peak in early March, we're also seeing a slowdown in the spread of COVID-19. But now, the situation is getting worse in the US and Europe, so we hope Korea could be a good model for handling the outbreak. We're still fighting as well, so stay tuned for more updates on the COVID-19 situation in Korea, and I'll see you next time.